Hello everyone, this is RaySpace and welcome back to my Neofly career in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I am flying the DC-6A, the cargo variant from PMDG and I'm going to be flying through Northern India to Bangladesh from VEKO to VEAT carrying 19,000 pounds of caviar. Well, at least that makes sense that that would pay well. And we have to do that in a flight time not exceeding 3 hours and 35 minutes. I'm picking that up. And so the flight in Flight Sim looks like this. But I'm of course going to be setting up a Sim Brief uh, flight. And I'm not going to load all the details in here. But I will have that so that Beyond ATC, which I will use again, uh, can pick up on that. So... This is how the Simbri flight looks. And so unlike the direct route, we have sort of a bump in the route. And then we go back north again. And it says that the airtime will be 3 hours and 4 minutes, which I hope not. Uh, that's cutting a little bit close as far as our, our deadline is concerned. But that's how it is. Uh, 15,000 feet, I'll just go with that. And uh, I've already got the fuel added in compared to what the, the plane already had. And I'm going to make adjustments here. So I've added a little bit more than what it listed as the block fuel. And I've got 21,000 pounds to carry. Well, I could technically load a lot more than that, but we probably should not. Actually, it says 19,900. Oh, maybe I misread that. So 19,912 pounds. And I am starting on the ramp. I will go through the startup procedure again. Well, that's as close as I can get for now. So we'll have plenty. And we're going to be starting a little bit at night, probably landing at dawn. Transporter, loading is complete. Let's go. Okay. ATC connected. Here we go again. So, first things first. And I won't include the whole start procedure this time. I will... Oh, maybe I, I should um, hold off on those. I need to set the lights on and then click that. <laughs> Otherwise I can't see it. Uh, I could probably just turn on the flashlight again, but I might as well get these on right now. I thought it would actually keep my prior state, but it doesn't seem to. It actually says the fuel booster pumps after... After the switch, but I usually do it before. Three, six, nine, twelve. There we go, three is on. Wait till all those click back. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Alright, they're all on. Well, before I forget, I'll just get the landing lights ready. And we can reduce the cow flaps. Okay, anything else? Yes, disconnect ground power. Those are all right. And then remove the gust lock. And how are we doing over here? Hmm. Oil pressure. Okay, it's warming up, it looks like. It's got the previous engine hours from the previous flight there. The longest time for engine 3 because it's the one that starts first. We have the right fuel, but we don't have the right cargo. Alright, sky for sim. As usual, it seems to zero out the cargo first. Okay, it's happy with that cargo now. 
Gujarat Tower, this is Romeo Alpha 412 requesting IFR clearance. Romeo Alpha 412, Khazuraho Tower, expect runway 01. Climb flight level 070 on runway center line. Then expect radar vectors will up. Squawk 3224. Romeo Alpha 412, runway 01, taxi at pilot's discretion. Romeo Alpha 412, taxiing at pilot's discretion to runway 01. Now, last time they wanted me right at the threshold of the runway, so... Kujarao Tower, Romeo Alpha 412, requesting departure. Romeo Alpha 412, Khazuraho Tower, wind 320 at 4, fly heading 110, runway 01, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Romeo Alpha 412. Well, I know last time I did not climb at the right speed. I need to go faster and then climb. I'll do a better job of that this time. Oh, little vehicle on the runway. I was cleared properly. You are clearly in the wrong. Good flight. Okay, gear up. Romeo Alpha 412, Mumbai Control, identified, climb to flight level 100. Flight level 100, Romeo Alpha 412. Now I'm still gonna push the engines as much as I feel like, okay? We will go fast. As long as it's safe, of course. Gotta get to the carburetor temp things. Okay, everything's green over there. Uh, we can probably close the cow flaps a bit. Mm, past the takeoff flap. And we're climbing much better than I did last time. I feel like the likelihood of flying 19,742 pounds of caviar to Bangladesh is relatively low, but probably it'd be a mixed load and not just caviar going to Bangladesh. Well, the exterior views might not be the most brilliant until the sun rises, but I should get some nighttime flying in. Romeo Alpha 412, climb to flight level 150. Climbing to flight level 150, Romeo Alpha 412. Well, this flight will basically be the first uh, flight of the around the world bit since it's the first one actually going eastward. So I will conclude that at Veco. I don't know much about Veco that airport Kujarao but that's where we've started and the contract system is the contract system well all as well as we're climbing through 10,000 feet I'm probably still a little bit slow but not as bad as last time okay well I got the flight plan in here after all so I can now see the uh, sim brief route in Sky for Sim. Well, I'm gonna switch to the high superchargers and then readjust. Right, gyro, gyro pallet on, physical disconnect, and then attitude control or altitude control. Okay. Should be leveling out at 15,000. Yeah, it looks like the outer engines only drain from the tip tanks. I should just keep all four of those tanks balanced then. 
Let me just see. I've got the fuel crossfeed on, but I don't super trust it. Let me just cut the outer tanks here and see if they're running properly. Okay, well, it seems to be just draining from tanks two and three. So we now have dawn blooming on the horizon, but just starting out the flight still. We are quite stable. Ground speed 273 knots. And the BMEP at 150 is what I'm going for here. Alright, so there we are in the almost dawn light, I guess. Almost dawn light, I guess we'll call it. Well, the sun's out now, and everything's looking prettier. This landscape is quite varied, um, sort of reminiscent of deserty areas, but maybe that's just the lighting right now. Of course, obviously there are fields down there, but some of the reddish tints, no, oh, maybe that's just trees in the autumn. All right, we're at the first big turn at Jamshedpur. That's looking idyllic right there. That's looking like a painting, really, except for the sky for some thing in the corner there. Yep, that's pretty artistic. I don't know how realistic it looks. It definitely looks like a painting more than a real thing. The, you know, hopefully the cloud, well, it's probably the lighting and all. Okay. So, on our new course, I'm close to getting the tanks all nice and level, so then I'll restart the use of main 1 and main 4. We've got about two hours worth of fuel left. Because of the cloud cover and the lighting, we can't really see the ground very well. It's all fluffy clouds. I do eagerly await when Beyond ATC is going to have some other chatter on the line. It's just awful quiet when tuning into the frequencies and not having any other any other flights talking. That's one respect that the stock frequencies, the stock ATC has an advantage in. Well, now we can see the ground. Well, definitely looks a bit dry down there. A little bit greener on this side. We're still a ways away from Bangladesh. Well, there's a river over there. That is apparently the Dama Odar River. I do not know how to pronounce that properly. Dama Odar River. All right, we have made the turn at Calcutta, and we are at 267 knots ground speed, and it's still cloudy. We have a little less than an hour's worth of fuel remaining, but we also have a little less than an hour's worth of distance to cover. It's a little bit tighter than I would have liked. I probably should have set the cruising altitude higher. Roaming Alpha 412, res expecting radar vectors for DME Zulu 36. Okay, getting all the tanks back on. Oops. Dhaka Control, Romeo Alpha 412 is ready for descent. Romeo Alpha 412, turn right, heading 085, descend to flight level 080. Agartala Airport Landing Runway 36. Romeo Alpha 412 turning right, heading 085, descending to flight level 080, landing runway 36 at Argatala and QNH 1010. Well, this is us on descent over Ma Bangladesh. Passing by Dhaka, which we probably won't get the best sighting of. 
And it's... Well, it's on the river somewhere. I'm a bit nervous about my fuel quantities. So, I'm going to be going in for a landing no matter what. Romeo Alpha 412, turn right, heading 120. Turning right, heading 120, Romeo Alpha 412. Okay, conditions aren't great here. And I'm not super obeying ATC right now either. Oh, landing lights. There's that too. Trying to be light though. Transporter from dispatch. Nice landing. Okay. Go to the parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch. Soft enough Transporter landing. Transporter from dispatch. Clear the runway and taxi to parking. Okay. This one looks good. Well, it's a tight turn. I'll take the next one. Okay, let's see. Stand by, pilot. Cargo unloading. Oh no, why why is one gone? Oh, I might be out of fuel. Uh, mission ended. I haven't even stopped yet. Everything is on board. I I had one engine stop and it decided that we were done. I insist on actually stopping somewhere proper instead of having just one engine stop. Romeo Alpha 412, welcome to Agarthala Airport. No suitable gates for your aircraft exist at this airport. Taxi at pilot's discretion. Yeah, but since I have crossfeed on, wouldn't engine 3 have stopped when engine 4 stopped? Well, I wonder why engine 3 cut out on me first. I don't know. What does it say? Well, it says we've got some problems here. Uh, let's get to the fuel cutout here. Okay, was there any big time engine problem? It doesn't say that there's a big time engine problem with engine 3. So I don't know what happened with it, why it cut out first. Well, we'll have to see some other time. Alright, well, I think it already paid me. When Engine 3 went out while we were taxiing, it decided that I was already done. So, taking a look at Neofly, 807,000 now. And, well, we've made it. It's not complaining about anything. Running Aircraft running cost was 188,000, though. It's expensive, this one. But all right. So now I've made it to VEAT and I want to continue eastward and we'll see whether it'll give me more missions like that. So continuing on from VEAT, I've got a potential mission here to VTCH, 466 nautical miles. It'll have, uh, require me to land softly, less than 200 feet per minute. Hopefully I can do that because we're carrying beer. So that's Mei Hong Son in Thailand. It's right on the border. And I'm going to pick that up. And we're going to configure things. Lots of things to configure. So first I'm going to, well actually first I'm going to go see how much fuel I need and maybe add some buffer to that in, um, in Simbrief. So let me go to Simbrief. All right, so here's how it looks in Simbrief, and that's the route. Actually, initially it had me going to Mandalay and then going down. I've changed that. I actually changed the planned route here so that we don't have such a big kink in the plan and it's not quite so long. And it's validated that, um, yeah, it's, it's happy with it. So, yes, I will generate that flight. And that should be good for, for Beyond ATC. And I'll also 
get the flight plan into Sky for Sim. And so this says block fuel 7,625. I'll probably load 10,000 anyway. We cut it a little bit close based on the the planning last time. As you can see, I only had 201 pounds left. So yeah, I'm definitely going to load a bit extra. I'm gonna go with 66% in the main tanks. It's about there, so I'll buy that fuel. It's a fairly light load compared to some of the ones we've been carrying though. That'll be more than enough, but I'll probably have to verify that. Okay, so this is the straight line version of the flight. We're going to be a little bit more than that, but it looks like we've got everything in. So, flying this. Oh, I forgot to start on the ramp. I well, I asked for a fragile cargo mission. The ground crew is waiting to carefully load the crates for you in the parking. Yeah, just a mistake that I didn't start on the ramp. Well, I did the start procedure in the first Air crew, flight, be so... Today's fragile cargo is being manually handled onto the aircraft at the customer's request. I'll just continue as is. No startup this time. Okay, we've got the flight plan. I'll verify that's really, really happy here. Okay. Agartala Tower, this is Romeo Alpha 412 requesting departure. Romeo Alpha 412, backtrack runway 18. Call when ready for departure. Backtracking runway 18, calling ready when ready for departure, Romeo Alpha 412. Okay, well, I don't know how to backtrack. Uh. Well, shucks. I'm just gonna fly. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if that's gonna make ATC happy, but apparently, I mean, I'm not gonna just go around back here somehow. That's gonna be too annoying. So, all right, we're just going. Oh, let's get the landing lights down. Okay, and we are going. Transporter, good flight and land Romeo soft. Alpha 412, push this isn't back a pushback. Immediately stop your pushback. Possible pilot deviation. Romeo Alpha 412, I have a number for you to call. Advise ready to copy. Uh, maybe I can tune somebody else who might be able to actually help me. Agartala Center, this is Romeo Alpha 412 outside of Agartala, uh, climbing at 700 feet. Romeo Alpha 412, reset transponder. Squawk 1501. Squawk 1501, Romeo Alpha 412. Romeo Alpha 412, Dhaka Control, Radar Contact, climb to flight level 100. Flight level 100, Romeo Alpha 412. Romeo Alpha 412, contact Guwahati Control 123 Decimal 9er. 123.9er, Romeo Alpha 412. Well, there we are. Climbing, headed towards Dhaka right now. Let me pull up the landing lights and hope I don't forget about them. Get the uh, cow flaps a little bit down and check on the engines. Oh, we've got one question mark on engine two. Don't know exactly what I've got different on engine 2 than the rest, but that's how it is. Engine 2 is guzzling different fuel than engine 1 over there. Huh. 
engine one has a question mark on engine health. Well, I guess that's why it's not taking as much fuel. We'll have to get that checked out when we land. I didn't start it up this time. I blame the computer for starting it up incorrectly. <laughs> well, here we are over Bangladesh, right on the border, still with India here. But the Romeo eastern border of India. Contact Dhaka Control 125 decimal 7. 125 decimal 7, Romeo Alpha 412. Okay, time for extra supercharger. I really don't want to be tuned to that. Unfortunately, I got the in game ATC. Interfering with the other ATC. All right, approaching eighteen thousand feet now. We're supposed to go to nineteen thousand. Since I didn't start up the thing, the engines have been complaining a bit more. I feel like. Uh, let me get the carburetor temp adjusted again. No, I don't want to request like following from them. Stock ATC is continually trying to communicate with me. And then I have get a new new uh again new transponder code, but that interferes with the transponder code that I'm supposed to be using for beyond ATC. Oh come on. I mean, if I try and change the frequency, then it changes the frequency for beyond ATC as well. well I'll just say cancel type following. But we've got two engines that are question mark right now. Well, we're almost to Myanmar now. I've passed uh, Chatogram, which seems like the chat version, version of Instagram or something. Uh, I, I'm sure it's not pronounced that way. I don't know, Chatogram? Something like that. But then there's also another city called Cox's Bazaar, which is another interesting name. Interesting stuff here in eastern India. But, or actually, that's still part of Bangladesh, sorry. That's uh, eastern Bangladesh. But soon we will be in Myanmar. And here's how we are. Cruising at 275 knots ground speed. Yang on radio, this is Romeo Alpha 412, right at the border between Bangladesh and Myanmar at 19,000 feet, flight level 190. Romeo Alpha 412, Yang on radio. Identified. So we are in Myanmar. Somewhat more rugged here. Yep, definitely confirmed. Myanmar is bumpy. What can I say? Lots of mountains around here. Of course, I'm just coming out of Bangladesh, which is a big river delta, so. There is that. That's true. Right now, engine two is acting differently than the other ones. And of course, engine one and engine two, we all will need them taken a look at once we land. Oh, I forgot to turn off the anti-icing. I had turned on the carburetor de-icer just, just in case we could changed the carburetor situation and now I don't have any more anti-ice fluid. Well, fortunately it's a short flight, so... I do push the engines a little bit hard, but I mainly blame the fact that it, uh, it was the game that started up. If I had started the engines up, I'm sure they would have been fine. So there. 
All right, well, deep in Myanmar, and it's not quite as bumpy. We're basically in the middle of Myanmar. Uh, the destination is around the border between Myanmar and Thailand. And we've just got one more waypoint left before that. So, yep, just about wrapping up. Engine 2 still has an oil temperature problem. The carburetor temperature question marks are just like normal at this point. Um, it is certainly something up with engine one because it's consuming less fuel than any of the other engines at the same settings. Lots of river features on this landscape. Very alluvial. Romeo Alpha 412, fly present heading, descend to flight level 140, Bay Hong Sun Airport landing runway 11. Romeo Alpha 412, descending to flight level 140, landing runway 11, Q and H 1012. Are uh, they gonna give me enough time to descend here? <laughs> I don't think it's gotta be a fly straight in situation after all. Romeo Alpha oh, just as I was saying that. Contact May Hongson approach 126 decimal 2. 126 decimal 2, Romeo Alpha 412. Romeo Alpha 412, turn left, heading 045, descend to 10,000 feet. This is nowhere near the Bay Airport, but okay. Turn left, heading 045, descending to 10,000 feet, Romeo Alpha 412. Romeo Alpha 412, turn left, heading 030. Really wants me to fly away from the airport. Turn left, heading 030, Romeo Alpha 412. I don't know why they want me to go this way. It's not really helpful. I'd rather like to land. Romeo Alpha 412, one five miles from MTAC, turn right, heading 180, maintain 5,400 feet until established on the final approach course, cleared RN Navy Alpha Runway 11. Turn right, heading 180, maintain 5,400 feet, cleared approach RNAV A11. Well, it's a bumpy area. Very bumpy area. It's gonna be an interesting approach. Well, at 5,400 or like just above this stuff. The approach course into uh, runway 11 is indeed a little bit interesting. I probably should have turned into it by now even, but uh, they've got me over here for some reason. Well, I think I'm gonna try and turn on to the proper course here. Romeo Alpha 412, contact me Hong San Tower 122.3, have a good day. 122.3, Romeo Alpha 412. May Hong San Tower, this is Romeo Alpha 412 at 5400 feet. Okay, good thing I have a translation in Beyond ATC for that. Okay. Clear to land, runway 11. Well, I'm glad I decided to go with my own navigation on that. Well, have to land at uh, under 200 feet per minute. Touchdowns velocity. And yeah, it'll be an interesting approach, alright. 
It's a lot of stuff in the way. Well, it's got to be a steep descent one way or another, folks. I don't see how I'm going to avoid that with all these hills in the way. Well, it's over here somewhere. <laughs> oh, I think I saw some lights. Okay, yeah, there. Oh, that is not, those lights are not the runway. Okay, must land softly though. Oh, landing lights. Okay. That was a harder landing than we like okay, to see. Okay, but it was within spec. Oh gosh, I'm turning. I'm turning. Ah. Taxi to parking and shut down your engine. Okay. No count of air quality that is added. The air that is very heavy, obviously. Well, it says negative six there now. Okay, what the... what was that? Exit next available runway. I think I've already exited, actually. Okay. Okay, pilot. Removing the fragile goods may take a little longer than normal. Stand by. Okay, fuel off. Oh, not the interlock. Transporter, another cargo mission completed. Thanks, and see you soon. Okay, two hours and 19, not restart. And... Okay, but having landed, I want the maintenance. So repairing, repair, repair. Only eight hours though. Maybe I should be a little bit kinder to them and top up the anti-ice. Suppose the propeller will be fine, right? Engine oil quantity seems to be fine, except for engine two. Seems to have used a lot more oil. Okay. But all right, we have arrived. They will do that maintenance. And let's check up on Neofly. So 817,000 now. Uh, between the first flight in this video and the second flight, there was some time. Uh, but yeah, aircraft running costs 150,000 for that flight. 340,000 was the payment. And we are now in Thailand and proceeding on this flight around the world. It's not been very far yet. Uh, incidentally, so far all my flying in Neofly, we started off in Japan, there was a deviation into South Korea, and then headed down the Ryukyu Islands to Taiwan, and then Hong Kong, and then across there was Malaysia and Indonesia, lots of bouncing around in Indonesia, and then on into India, where we've had this sort of course in India and back into Malaysia, and we are here now. So that has been my flight path in Neofly so far. And I think I'm just gonna repay this loan. Might as well not have two loans. That's probably a better idea. We still have to do this one. But that is the situation right now. So, I will continue the career and continue the trek around the world with the DC-6. And hopefully I'll treat it a little bit better. But I do like pushing the engines a little bit to go faster. We'll see. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.